thousands of wearables make up one of the fastest growing tech industries. This year's sales could reach nearly $5 billion. Our Dr. Tara Narula is here with a new device that tries to change how you feel. Tara, good morning. Good morning. Wearable technology enables its users to track how many steps they take or how many calories they eat. But a new product on the wearable market doesn't try to change the number on the scale. Instead, it wants to change your mood using electric stimulation. If you turn to coffee for a jolt or a glass of wine to relax, a wearable tech company wants you to consider an alternative, electric currents. What is the basis behind the concept of using electric stimulation to change yeah. your mood? We have nerves on the head and neck that connect directly to our brains, and those nerves normally give a lot of input about what's going on around us. And so what we're doing is we're signaling those nerves electrically to just trigger your body to respond physiologically. So. The new device called Think costs nearly $300. It fits on the forehead and the back of the head. It comes with two settings, energy or calm, controlled through a smartphone app. Because it is considered a wellness or lifestyle product rather than a medical device, it's not subject to FDA regulation. Izzy Goldwasser is the CEO of Think. Who do you think is the ideal person to use a Think? Somebody with an attitude that, you know, where they have a full life, that attitude of, of conquering life, conquering your day, or on the, on the calm mode side, somebody who wants to unwind during the day because life is stressful. Think delivers a low dose of electric current to the surface of the skin. They claim the electric pulses, or what Think calls vibes, change brain activity by stimulating sensitive cranial nerves on the face or on the back of the head. Think demonstrated the device to first time users in New York City last month. My heart rate is like low, but I feel like kind of energized at the same time. Users are advised to wear the product between 10 to 20 minutes a session and for no more than 60 minutes a day. I think that Think's design is um, really different and futuristic. But the concern, I guess, for some is that maybe we're actually limiting people by giving them a quick tech fix to an area where maybe we should be learning how to self-regulate our emotions. See, as you practice, then you become self-aware of what it feels like to be motivated and or centered and how to handle stress in a better way. So. Think believes humans can't control their own biological responses. Randy Bruno, a neuroscientist at Columbia University, disagrees. Almost everything we do during the day is manipulating our biology. What you drink, what you eat, these are all active choices we make to change our biology, to change our mood. He's also skeptical if the scientific testing by Think proves the wearable changes the brain's physiology and chemistry. Is it really activating some neuromodulatory part of your brain? They don't know that. They need to do more research onto that. I wanted to learn what the vibes felt like. So this goes on your temple. Okay. Good. Choosing the <laughs> calm setting in the middle of my day. I feel like someone's like tickling my, my hair <laughs> on my head. It's so interesting. This is about a, a journey where, where there's another choice. Now the question is, you know, can, with this choice of digital versus a chemical choice, how does that get weaved into life? I imagine a future, whether it's Think or anyone else, where we are, we are using programs to do things that we want. It's not just uh, a gimmick. It's like it really does help people to, do, to be able to feel motivated, to relax, really helps you. It sounds like a great idea, but you're a doctor. I mean, what do you think? Yeah, I think physiologically it does make sense. I don't think we have enough research to say for sure, as the neuroscientist said, that we're targeting those regions in the brain and releasing chemicals. You know, I certainly felt a sensation on the skin and a kind of fullness in the ear, so something was going on, but I didn't feel that calm sensation for hours afterwards. Did it hurt? It didn't hurt. It didn't hurt. No, it didn't hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Any concerns about the attractiveness of it? I'm thinking maybe they need to work on the design a little bit longer. Because <laughs> I could see people stopping you. Is something wrong? Are you okay? Do you have any other concerns about the device? I think one of the biggest things is long-term side effects. Mm -hmm. If people wear it for hours at a time, for years at a time, mm -hmm. if it's used in kids or adolescents whose brains are still developing, those would be the two major concerns. Mm -hmm. Look, I think it brings up a great point, which is people are looking for energy boosts. They're yes, looking right. to calm down. Exactly. But I think, yes. as that other doctor in your piece pointed out, there are other ways to change the physiology of the brain and That's your body. Right. And That's we're right. just beginning to learn. Yeah, we are. It's interesting thank you. for sure. Frontier of the brain. Yes, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> thank you, Dr. Tara.